Call the Otana City Council meeting to order for Tuesday, August 18th. May we have roll call. Councilmember Schultz. Here. Burbank. Here. Rainey. Here. Svenby. Here. Dodson. Here. Okerberg. Here. Abraham. Here. Mayor Coons. We have all seven of the council present. Thank you. Please rise and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, I want to say, welcome all one of you to the council meeting tonight and uh, hope you enjoy it because I'm going to try to make it quick. So with that, we'll move on to the approval of the agenda and we have added 3.5 miscellaneous items, authorization of four letter of support for Lambda Air Express. What is motion, the council's wish? Motion to approve. Second. With the addition. Motion by uh, Grant to approve, second by Kevin, right? All those in favor say aye. 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 Moving on to opposed. All those uh, moving on to the financial report, and I'll ask Council Member Schultz to read the financial report. Okay, a recap of the expenditures presented for approval tonight are as follows. Checks over 20,000 are $38,112 <coughs> to CFT Developments, LLC, to refund of a developer security deposit. $23,159 to Central Valley Co-op for fuel purchases. $33,750 to Crane Creek Asphalt for hot mix. $34,978 to Isaacson Implement Company for Massey Ferguson Tractor. $117,859 to the Southeast Service Cooperative for the August Health Insurance Premiums and other expenditures of $265,277 for a total of $513,137.71 uh, presented for approval tonight. Motion to pay the bills. Thank you. We have a motion by Kevin Rainey to pay the bills. Do we have a second? Second. Second. Second by Dave Burbank. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This has been approved. <coughs> Moving on to the consent agenda items. We have items that special event permits, board commission minutes, uh, et cetera, all grouped into one uh, motion. What is the council's wishes? And I just want to note for the record that the uh, North Bluff block party, the date has changed from September 12th to September 19th. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Motion to approve as we have a motion by Brent Fenby to approve the consent agenda items. Do you have a second? Second. Second by Jeff Wokerberg. Any further discussion there? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This has been approved. Moving down to action items, we will start with 3.2.1, sale of 1982 Mack fire engine to Riverland Community College, and we'll go to Chris with that. Okay. Yes, thank you. Let's just get to that. Uh, we have a request from the fire department. Um, as you know, we've had this 1982 Mack fire engine for sale uh, for about a year and haven't had any takers on it. Um, and so uh, we were able to work out, a, uh, I think, a, just a great innovative kind of idea to trade the, the truck to Riverland in exchange for fire training um, in not to exceed $7,000 worth of training. So we would uh, propose that, uh, recommend your approval of the agreement. Thank you. Uh, any questions from the council? Motion to approve. We have a motion by Kevin Rainey to approve this request. Do we have a second to that? Second. Second by Nate Dotson. Any further discussion there? <clears throat> Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This has been approved. Moving on to 3.2.2. It's a sale of land to University United Properties, and we'll go to Troy with that. Uh, the city entered into a letter of intent with United Properties and the real estate team of Cushman, Wakefield, Northmark uh, to allow them exclusive rights to market the property for a suitable industrial user. The property is 32 acres right at the end of Le Mans Road on the north side of Highway 14. It ends right in the cul-de-sac there. United Properties would like to enter into purchase agreement because we they have had a lot of interest in the property. Uh, and have a lot of money invested uh, as well, doing borings, uh, did a topo of the properties, a lot of surveying work. <clears throat> and so the city 
Uh, United Properties and both entities' attorneys have agreed to the attached purchase agreement. The sale price would be just a shade over a million dollars, one million uh, four thousand six hundred eighty dollars. And per the letter of intent, wetlands areas were removed as well as right-of-way areas were removed. Uh, the applicant would be responsible for extending Lamont Road to the western property line. And the purchase agreement is actually for 365 days, so a full year. And it is contingent on them getting um, a tenant uh, to build a building on. So it's actually a more formal uh, agreement than the letter of intent. And with everything sort of in place for the purchase agreement, it allows us to act faster when there is uh, a business or industry that wants to uh, locate on the property. The money received from the land sale would reimburse the Owatonna Public Utilities for their uh, money that was used to purchase the land originally. The remaining dollars would be placed in the EDA's land account and that would cover expenses already incurred for extending sewer and water uh, to that site. And then any excess would be put towards future projects or land purchases. So staff would recommend approval of the purchase agreement with United Properties. Thank you, Troy. Any questions from the council? <coughs> motion to approve. Uh, second. by Greg Schultz to approve. We have a second by uh, Kevin Rainey. Any further discussion? <coughs> Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This has been approved also. Moving on to 3.3, second reading of proposed ordinance 1015 to amend the chapter 52 stormwater utilities. And Kyle, I don't believe is here. Will um, I will handle this. Um, as you know, we have had previous study sessions on um, on this issue and based on the projections of costs related to our stormwater utility, uh, we had hired both infrastructure and environmental uh, company to complete a stormwater rate study. They have. <coughs> The results were presented to council and reviewed, and um, the recommendations are reflected in this ordinance as we have discussed previously. Um, so staff would recommend uh, approval of the second and final reading of the proposed ordinance. Thank you. Any questions from the council? Motion to approve. We have a motion by Nate Dotson to approve. Do you have a second to that? Second. Second by Kevin Rainey. Any further discussion? Seeing this is an ordinance, we ask for roll call. Councilmember Schultz. Aye. Burbank. Aye. Rainey. Aye. Svenby. Aye. Dodson. Aye. Oakberg. Aye. Abraham. Aye. All seven ayes. Thank you. This has been approved, and that is the second reading, so it's now in. in will be published, and then. Will be published, yes. Moving on to 3.4 which is resolution 62-15 to accept FAA grant agreement for hangar area taxi land pavement reconstruction and that we go to Troy. The airport is doing a hangar taxi lane pavement reconstruction project uh, as part of our capital improvement plan. Schedules one and two of the low bid had been accepted and awarded uh, for contract with James Brothers Construction. The approval was contingent on securing uh, anticipated federal and state <coughs> grant funding. Right here uh, in this um, attached to the, the memo here is the FAA grant agreement which is for 90% of the funding for federally eligible project costs. There would also be uh, a grant agreement probably at the next council meeting for the state um, portion as well. Once we have both those portions then the project can start. We're looking at starting the project uh, after Labor Day and it's about uh, 10 to 15 days of construction. The grant offers for $210,707 that again representing this, the 90 percent federal funding participation for eligible costs and then the state portion would be two hundred and fourteen thousand two hundred seventy five dollars and then the city share would not exceed sixty two thousand three hundred and forty nine dollars and staff would recommend approval of resolution authorizing acceptance of the FAA grant agreement thank you Troy questions from the council motion to approve uh, motion by Greg Schultz to approve do we have a second 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 by Dave Burbank any further discussion Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This has been approved also. Thank you, Troy. Moving on to 3.5, miscellaneous items of authorization for letter of support for land to Air Express. Uh, we'll go to Chris. 
Thank you, Les. We've received a request from Jefferson Lines to provide a letter of support to MnDOT so that uh, Land to Air Express uh, could receive funding um, through the Minnesota Department of Transportation. Uh, they currently provide inner city bus service um, from uh, Rochester through Mankato. And uh, they're asking for our support. Um, they've been operating in the city for many years, and staff would recommend approval. Thank you, Chris. Any questions from the council? Motion to approve. We have a motion by Kevin Rainey to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Brent Svenby. Any further discussion there? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? This is, brings us down to public comments, and if anyone wishes to speak on any item not on the agenda, please come to the microphone and sign in, and we will allow you up to two minutes. Seeing none, we'll move on to council comment, and we'll start with uh, Craig. Just want to tell everybody, uh, go out and have a good time at the fair, be careful, and have a good time. Thank you. Dave? Same for me, from Ward 3. Kevin? Same for me. Ward four. Ward four. <laughs> Nate. Enjoy the fair. Ward one. <laughs> Jeff. Uh, enjoyed the fair, and I'd like to say uh, congratulations to my wife for being married to me for 30 years on the 24th, and thank you for putting up with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to give her a big hug. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you, and congratulations, Jeff. And uh, we'll go to Chris. Word five. Word five. Word five. Brother, just go enjoy the fair. Okay. Well, I have a comment. It's probably going to take some time. No, I'm just teasing. I do want to remind everyone that uh, we are having our coffee with the council this Saturday at the fair. Uh, we've decided to hold it at Fair Square. Um, in the picnic table areas there at 8.30. We'll be there from 8.30 to 9.30 for folks to come up and talk to us about anything they want to talk about or anything we want to cover. So just a reminder about that this Saturday in Fair Square. 8.30 to 9.30 at Fair Square. Yes, sir. Okay, great. Any other items? Looking for a motion for adjournment. So moved. So a motion by Kevin Ray uh, Rainey to adjourn. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Brent Sven, the Ward 5. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Seven eleven. <laughs>